Batty, aka Hello Interloper here. Today we will be doing a workaround to adding spore creatures into your game. I previously made a video on how to do this and unfortunately that method hasn't been working for everyone. So I was playing around with folders and such and I was actually able to find a way how to actually add spore creatures into your game without uh, doing that previous method. So hopefully this will work for all of you. Um, See, I don't really like these here, so I'm going to rehash this. Oh my goodness, it's an eggplant. Yeah, I think I'm going to add that into my game. So, um, I'm going to actually choose a few things from the Sporpedia. This is where it all begins. And um, it's the same step as the uh, previous method. So, uh, okay, this guy here. It says, drag to your desktop, drop into Spore Creator. I'm just going to drag and drop these guys, the eggplant, and some other stuff. Uh, there we go. Okay, I got some creatures here. They're all on my desktop. So from there, I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to find a folder on my computer. And um, I, unfortunately, I don't use a Mac. I don't have a Mac. I don't even know if Spore has a Mac version. So if you do have a Mac, I'm really sorry. I can't help you there. But um, on the newest versions of Windows, you will find this folder on this PC, Documents, My Spore Creations, and then Creatures. On older versions of Windows, it will be under your actual login name. Like, let's say when you log into your computer, your name is Maddie. It would be under Maddie, then Documents, My Spore Creations, and Creatures. So I'm just going to briefly go here. I'm in the Documents, go to My Spore Creations, you'll see all this. Go to Creatures, and there you have all your creatures that you have made. So from there what I'll do is I will take these three that I put on my desktop and I will drag them and drop them into that folder. Now it's really important that you don't have Spore open during this step. Spore needs to be closed. So once you have these in your folder you will actually open up Spore. So let me go here to Spore Galactic Adventures uh, if you have the base game Spore, it'll work too. But uh, I have Galactic Adventures, so Galactic Adventures it is. So I'm going to start this up, skip the intro. And uh, if you do have a cracked version, you won't be logging in, of course. But uh, it's logging me in. Do, 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 do. Connect to Spore server. And from there, I will go to my Sporepedia list. Alright, now that I'm here... I go to recent downloads on the left hand side and you will see that all of those creatures that I have added are in there. So you see the the beetal. He's in there. If he wants to load today. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. And the eggplant. I, I gotta see this for myself. This is oh my goodness, that is absolutely hilarious. And then the bluebell. So that's how you add um spore creatures into your game through this alternative method and um, then you know they're in your game and the best part is even though you put it into the my spore creations folder your actual creations list here will stay clean and only be things that you have created yourself all things that you add to that folder that you did not make yourself will go into recent downloads which keeps it pretty organized and clean so there you go, that's how you add creatures into your game if the first method does not work. Or, you know, if this one's easier for you, go ahead and do this. Either way, they're in the game now, and you can play with them. Anyway, until next time!